Hi and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about the K989 and how we can improve the steering on this car. The problem with the steering is around neutral position or going straight. Let me try to demonstrate. As you can see, if I turn just a slight amount center, nothing really happens. First, when I was in center, I start turning. And now the servo starts moving. And then it moves fine. Good sensitivity. Again, to the other side. There something happens. So there's like a dead point in the middle here where you can turn the wheel without anything happens. The 284131 has another radio and in this car the problem is not that bad there's still a small dead point here around center but it's better still see I can move it a little around here around the center without anything happens so the problem is the radio as a comparison here is a Pro race car with a nice Sanva MTS radio. And if I try to do the same, you can see there's absolutely no dead point at all. As soon as I do this slightly touch on the radio, the wheel reacts. That's how you want it to be if you want to race. You want no dead point at all because when you want to turn, you want something to happen. So which radio to use? Well, a good choice could be the Dumbo RC radio. It's a really nice one. I use it on many of my cars. It has a very long range, but we probably doesn't need that with this car. It has very fast response, which is great, and it's very cheap. So that could be a solution, but it's not the one I want to use. And the problem is that this radio just has the basic adjustments like a dual rate for steering and of course steering trim and throttle trim and throttle dual rate dual rate and nothing more um, of course you can get this one with a gyro which is it could help you in racing but for racing i don't want to use a gyro i want to have fine control and control of myself with my fingers so instead what i will use is this one the Fly Sky GT3B. And why do I want to use this radio? Yeah, I could of course use a great radio like this Sanva MTS, which we use on our touring cars, our one 10 scale touring cars. But this radio costs like, I don't know, five times as much as the car. And I don't really want to use that expensive a radio on a cheap car. I could of course just buy a new receiver because this one you can bind to multiple receivers but receivers for Sanva, Sanva are still pretty expensive. I think a new receiver for this one is almost the same price as the car. So that's why I want to use this one, the Fly Sky GT3B. And that's because this radio has an advantage over the simple Dumbo radio. And that is it has something called EXP or exponential and that's a really handy thing if you want to raise things. We, ca we can't bind the fly sky directly to this receiver. As far as I know there is no um, transmitter which is better than the stock Realtor transmitter that you can bind to this radio. We have this unit here and it's a combined receiver and ESC speed controller. So we need to add both a new receiver and a new speed controller. Luckily, the server is a three wire server, so we can reuse the server because it's actually not that bad. We have it all wired up now. We have the receiver here, connected with the server and the ESC. 
you see over here, connect to the battery, fits to the existing battery connector. The only extra thing I had to do was the motor. I have to make this little adapter wire to connect the motor to the ESC. This is pretty messy right now and it's probably going to be a little hard to fit it all underneath the body here. Uh, but for now, I'm not done testing, so I will just keep it at this like this, remove the original uh, receiver and ESC, put everything in. Uh, and then if this is the final solution I'm going to be, I think I will shorten up all the wires and instead of having all the connections, I simply just solder it together to make it nice uh, and, and much easier to fit in here and also to keep the, the weight low and also keep the set of gravity low. As I said, I'm not done experimenting. And also I have, for instance, here another ESC. This one is more powerful than this one. This is a 20 amp 2S ESC. This one is a 3S ESC. So we're going to experiment with that also uh, to see that will definitely give the car some more speed. And now we can see there is absolutely no dead zone in the middle. As soon as I just do a single touch on the steering, there is an immediate reaction. So there's nothing wrong with the servo, but simply just the radio that was bad. And this radio is definitely a lot better. This will be something we can really feel when driving. So, what's that thing about EXP or exponential? Let me demonstrate. First, I want to notice one thing with this radio. I had to reverse channel one, the steering, to make it steer to the right side because that actually affects the EXP. There we have it, EXP exponential. Let's go in and do a change because normally what you want to do is you want to have a negative value. But on this radio, because the steering was reversed, then the exponential is also reversed. So on this radio, we need to go positive. So let me demonstrate. When it's in zero, it's linear. The, how much I turn the steering wheel is linear to how much the wheels on the car is turning. If I go, see it comes nice and linear. If I turn half, on the steering wheel will also turn these wheels half. And, and that's nice, but this one can do something exponential. Let's go. Normally I would go with a value around minus 20%, which is plus 20 on this because we reversed the steering. Let me just try to go extreme just to show the difference. Like 50%. So please note. You can see I'm turning the steering wheel. Let's go even further up to see it. I'm turning the steering wheel with the same speed, but notice the steering in the beginning it goes slow and then it turns faster. You see that? If I turn the steering wheel half, I only turn the wheels on the car like I don't know one third or something. It also means it becomes very sensitive in the in the end, but it is not sensitive around the center. And that's what I want. Maybe not a, as extreme as it is now. I, as I said, 20% minus 20 minus 30 is a good way to start. So what's the point of this? Well, the point is when you go racing and you're going on a straight or you're going through a high speed corner like a sweeper or something, it can be a little hard to control the exact steering angle on, on your car. But if you have a, this EXP, you have to turn relatively a lot on the steering wheel for the car to steer. It makes the car less sensitive on the straights. And then, of course, it becomes more sensitive at, at full lock. But that's okay, because that's we only have full lock in the turners, where we're going in the turns, sorry, where we have a low speed. So, all in all, by having a little exponential, it actually makes the car easier to control on a racetrack. And all racers that I know of, they all use EXP. 
because it simply just makes the car easier to, to control on the straight and on the high speed uh, corners. So that's really a great thing and that's one of the reasons why I want to use a more advanced transmitter like this fly sky instead of just a simple with, uh, like the, the Dumbo. That's the main reason. This transmitter has one downside and it is that the range the antenna up to give a little more range. The range is not that good, but for this car, we're not gonna have drive far away because I guess I can't see it then if it's too far away. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a great radio. Uh, so I think this uh, upgrade will really help. Three, From an earlier two, video one, where we compared oh. the K989 to the 284131, we found that the 284131 was faster. But now that we have upgraded the radio in the K989, you will see that it's no longer the slowest. It's actually faster now because it's easier to control. Conclusion, is it worth to upgrade the radio? As you can see in the video, and if you compare to the old video, where the 284131 was faster than the K989, it's now the opposite. The K989 now, now beats the 284131. So, yeah, if you have the K989, I think, yes, that is definitely worth an upgrade. If you have the 284131, yeah, it'll still give you some more nice features and reduce a little of the um, uh, of the dead pot in the in the middle. So yeah, it might also help on that car. But if you have the K989, yeah, it's definitely worth an upgrade.